So what you see behind me is a drum set. So what's going on YouTube? I know it's been a little bit since I've been on. Um, life has been good. I have moved apartments, obviously. Uh, and I have some awesome big news coming up that I want to talk to you about. But uh, also in the realm of big news, I have the privilege of unboxing a really cool treat today. Uh, you know I love tech I, and I'm a musician. And this is something that I've wanted for a really, really long time. It is a Roland TD 50 KV. It's the entire drum set. Back in college, I had my first selector drum set and I bought an Alesis, Alesis DM, Alesis DM10, I think. And it was fine for a first drum set, but looking back, it didn't have the features and the quality that I was looking for. And I didn't really play it as much as I thought I would because um, honestly, the tech just wasn't as good in that Alesis drum set. So I put it away, I actually sold it and um, I never really regretted selling it. I just regretted not getting a Roland. And it was because the price tag is just so insane on, on these drum sets. They normally range within like $6,000 to $7,700. Like I'll put the price up here, but it's kind of, you're spending some money. I didn't spend that much money on this kit. And like looking back, the reason why I got a budget kit for my first one in college was because I was in college and on a much smaller budget. Yeah, so this video is the unboxing of my TD50 KV drum set. A beast of a drum set. I mean, just like look at all these packages. It's quite, it's quite insane. I literally had to get someone to help me because I don't have a car. Yeah, that's, that's like new news too. I don't have a car. I live downtown Austin. You don't need a car if you live in Austin. Don't let nobody tell you that. Okay, so let's talk about why I wanted this kit. And the major reason why I wanted this kit is because of the drum module it comes with. Um, it was actually really hard to find the drum module by itself and like some of the other things that I wanted for a price that I thought was like worth it. So the drum module is the TD50. I know they've come out with like new drum modules since they produced that, but it's still the best drum module they have just because of how many options it has and all the different ports on the back end. It's like my goal with this is to be able to stream Twitch and just like make videos and just more content with my electric drum set. I wanted and needed all the options that the, that the module has. And it's somewhere within all these boxes, but that was the main reason why. I have another project where I'm actually converting my acoustic drum set into an electric kit. So it's gonna be nice to have all these all these pads, but I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use all of them. I'm gonna use the snare, I'm gonna use one of the cymbals because they're special um, in the drum module. But um, we will see uh, if I ever have to like, you know, tear that kit, that my, my acoustic kit down that I convert and use this, it's gonna be nice to have the whole thing in reserve. This kit is gonna include Tons of stuff. Okay, so it comes with that module that I was talking about, that TD50K. So the snare drum is a special snare drum, like regular electric drum sets, like normal ones out there. Um, they What they work is they work on a trigger system and they just use like a regular, like one fourth guitar cable, speaker cable to, um, to connect to a drum module that interprets the sound every time you hit it. Um, but this is really cool because the snare drum, which is the, the PD, 140DS. It's a digital snare drum and uses a USB cable. The signal is always accurate. Uh, you can get tons of different sounds on it. The whole thing is just digital. Uh, it doesn't, it's not using the same trigger system. That's a plus. That's another reason. This kit comes with well, it's one of those. It also comes with another uh, USB connected device, which is the, it's the digital ride symbol. It's the 18 inch CY18DR digital ride symbol. And that's the other reason why I wanted to get this because it comes with that whole thing. And they make what they call an upgrade kit where you can get just the module and those two together, but they've been sold out for so long and Sweetwater didn't have it available. So those are the like the major core reasons why I got this. Uh, this also comes with, um, you know, it's gonna come with a kick drum, it's gonna come with, come with like your, your high toms, it's gonna come with your floor toms, uh, it's gonna come with a hi-hat and, and, and another crash cymbal. So all in all, that's the drum module, the snare drum, the kick drum, the high tom, two floor toms, 
Digital Ride, Hi-Hat, and a Crash. So, um, oh, and the 15 inch Crash, as well as the stand and tom mount. So, like this comes with so many pieces. So many pieces. So uh, let's just see what's in this one right quick. All right, guys, it's sweet water. You know, for such an expensive kit, you could definitely give me more expensive candy. Bitto honey. My mom loves those. Packaging. Looks like the hi-hat stuff. Pop, pop. Yeah. It's the PDX 100. It looks like it is one of the drum pads. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I mean. You've got you've got this really awesome, and I love the mesh head. It just makes a great experience when you're playing. Uh, and if you turn it around, uh, you'll see that there is your like your guitar cable connector right there. And that's like the way they've done it forever. And there's another one, and another one. Voila. And those are your toms. Okay, so here's our first symbol. This is a 12 inch crash. And it's gonna work on similar similar aspects, right? There's your one fourth guitar cable. You just put it in there. Uh, just really nice quality. I have some Joe Becky symbols that I'm gonna show you too. Um, and I can kind of compare the differences between those two. Um, so I have like Roland symbols here and I also have Jobeki electric symbols. Got some parts and pieces. This is what you put to connect it to the hi-hat stand. This is, so look at the differences between these symbols here. There's your 12 and there's your 13. It's pretty awesome. Such good quality. It just feels so good. Like compared to my old Alesis, man, this just feels so good. And like, it also has like an edge sensor. So check this out right here. Is this edge sensor? So th what that means is like when you play it, you can grab it and it will shush it. Or it can sense at different like positions. It may have different sounds. All right, Up for the simple. And they're putting arrows on here. So I guess they're like telling me what to do. I, I don't know how to interpret this. I'm sorry, it's just an arrow. Oh, I guess that's what you do. You pull from inside. This is our hi hat. Okay, so personally speaking, I would, I'm a drummer who would rather have more cymbals than drums. Uh, I just love having all the different sounds and all of the different um, like bright capabilities that you can do with that. Whereas like drums, you know, how often do you really like have the space to, to play all those different complicated drum fills, or you may be able to switch it up with some cymbals, I think. Um, that's just my play style. And I'm not seeing the bottom. Is there, a, there's gotta be a bottom, right? Huh. Oh. <laughs> so much stuff. The kick drum. Very exciting. Such good. That's metal, folks. That is metal, and it sits on these bars. Wow. I think this is the kick drum. Yeah, this is the TD120 kick drum. Hmm. I'm looking inside, and I don't know if you can see, but it looks like the trigger is right in here, somewhere. Like the trigger. So that's a module. Yeah, it's, it's got two triggers. Here's a trigger, and then here's a trigger. This is dual, dual triggered. Okay, so looking inside, 
you have this foam piece, you've got this like light brown foam piece, and you've got this other foam piece up here that's a dark, like a dark gray, a charcoal. And those two foam pieces are triggers. There's a, there's like a cone right here at the front. And the cone shape for when you're doing drum triggers looks really, I mean, it sounds really, really good. Uh, I, for some reason, shape matters when it comes to like foam. And um, you'll usually see like the drum triggers uh, that are doing, that are like inside the drum, be a foam, like a foam uh, cone. And then in the bass drum, uh, you usually see it kind of like a foam cylinder. And that's for triggers that are inside the drum. I know it's really popular to have triggers like on the rim, but I think that on the inside, if you have it there, it looks the cleanest and it usually sounds the best. That's just personal preference, obviously. <laughs> comes with its own beater. That's nice. And then it comes with its own cable, which is also nice. Did anything else come with a cable? Not yet, it must be in a different box. Now we're on a hunt for cables. It is in fact hardware. <laughs> so this is the stand for, for the bass drum. And it's really awesome. It's got nice rolling branding, if you care about that. But more importantly, just the construction. That's metal. Ouch. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be the guard. Hand cam. Cables. We found them. Look at all that hardware. Okay. Two boxes left. I know what this box is. This one is going to be pretty simple and it doesn't come with a drum set, but I'll open it anyway. I don't know how I feel about all this packaging. This is a box of cables that I'm going to need for, oh, that feels good. That I'm gonna need for my conversion of my other drum set. So ignore these, but uh, yeah, I bought some cables too. <gasps> Better. Okay, so this is what we've all been waiting for. The TD50 drum module, the digital snare drum, and the digital cymbal. We're very excited about this one. This is what I probably should have only purchased, but Sweetwater had it unavailable and let's crack it open. A bag? Register your product, I guess. It can track you so you can get your warranty if anything happens. It's a good idea to register your products. More publications. All I'm saying, with all this paper, where's the sticker rolling? I haven't seen a damn sticker yet. I like stickers. So, so far that's my largest critique. Just a box. Oh. Just kidding. Other pseudo box. Box two. Box three. Here. We've got a box of boxes in another box. This one looks like it's going to be the module. This one looks like it's going to be the symbol. And this one looks like it's going to be the snare drum. I also read the boxes. <laughs> My knife play. It's going to get me hurt someday. This is a very sharp knife. Da da da, the symbol. So here's our symbol. One third of the reason why I bought this. This symbol is very special. It uses a USB cable to transfer the sound to our drum module. There's no one fourth guitar connection. So that's innovative. Very excited to see how that turns out. And here is the next box. Cable right on top. It's really big. So much boxes. Check it out. Isn't that awesome? 
Oh, wow. So this is one of the moments that we're waiting for. PD-140DS. Okay, it's a digital snare drum. And it's awesome. Great construction. It's black and silver. It's gonna match my drum set. Very excited about this. This will be my main snare drum while I convert my other snare drum over into electric. It's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited about it. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Publication. A little light reading. I guess that's true. The power comes from the module, so there's only one cable that comes to your wall. Very cool. Check that out. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. This drum set is the most expensive thing I own at this point. I don't own a car, but I own a drum set. Wow. So look at all these knobs. Okay, the reason why I purchased this over their new ones. There's tons of baked in sounds here. There's also, you just have so many options for control over all of your different channels and ports. Uh, it can grow much more than the other pads can because it has the ability to expand into all these different ports. Also notate the USB. Gotta have it if you wanna use those cool stuffs. So things you need to consider if you're going to like trying to go all electric or convert your drum set or um, if you're trying to stream on Twitch and be like like that, that side hustle entrepreneur, that content creator, like I think this is the module you need over some of their newer modules um, because this has just way more options. Also the construction just feels so good. I'm very impressed with, with this module, but being able to create your own custom sounds. I've waited for this for a long time. I've waited for this all year long and it is currently April. Don't keep a lady waiting four months, but she'll move on and buy a drum set. So here is the damages. All of this, also all of this. Look at all the boxes. Also, we didn't even unpack all the hardware, but it's just kind of like, you know, metal sticks and stuff. More boxes, so many boxes. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of my Roland drum set. I'm very excited about playing it and getting started and doing a lot more Twitch streams and YouTube videos uh, for like just being a creative in general. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of these boxes. Hopefully I can pack them down and recycle them. Um, but you know, I can't fault Roland for sending me a bunch of things. So thanks. Yeah, so till next time, please like and subscribe. Welcome to the Jen Show where I do what I want. I hope you enjoy it. So more to come later. Leave me a comment if you want to talk sometime. I can't wait to show you now. And if you have questions, I will talk to you all day about my conversion project. Um, I haven't filmed uh, too much content for my conversion project yet, but I built a drum set. And like my journey to be a musician in an apartment, a drummer in an apartment, has just been a really long, tiring, expensive route. Hopefully I've arrived, but there's so much to tell you and I cannot wait to put all this together and get things situated and see how it sounds, make some videos. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the show.